This is item number 47 from the release spring 2014 test items for the end of course tests in Tennessee for Algebra 1. The question says which ordered pair represents the solution to this system of equations? The solution to a systems of equations question means if I have two lines, where do they intersect? It's the point that they both share in their data sets. Now, there's a bunch of ways that you can do this. We'll use substitution, we'll use elimination, I'll do graphing, and also I'll just show you that it's a multiple choice test so you could substitute. And that's what a lot of people will do, so let's do that first. I usually keep the easy, the sort of lame fact that you can use the multiple choice to your advantage till the end, but not this time. I'll do it first, just to mix it up. So I've got 5x minus 4y. I'm going to change pen colors really fast because that one's a little bit faded. Um, so I've got 5x minus 4y equals 37. So what I'll do is just start with my sets and substitute in the values. So these are x's and these are y's. So I'll start with 5 and negative 8. And what I'm looking for is to see if I do that, um, can I get the value for 37? Because that's what it should get if it's one of the, if it's true. It helps if I actually have the pen itself on. I'm going to delete that out. There we go. So 5 times 5 minus 4 times negative 8. And if this is on that line, then I should get 37. That's what I'm looking for. And it's not. So wah, wah, wah. I'll try the next one. 57 over 5 and then 5. So let's try that one. 5 57 over 5. Once again, if it's on the line, it should be equal to 37. And that's looking pretty good. So maybe that's what they have in common. So now that that one worked, I can try uh, the other one. So it has to work for both of them. If it doesn't work, it's not the correct answer. This just means that this point is on this line, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's the intersection point, so we have to make sure it works for the other one. So for the other one, we'll do 2 and over 57 over 5 minus 4 over 5. And we're hoping to get 22 in this one so we can be done with this method. Wah, wah. So we got it the first one, but not the second one. So it's not the answer. We'll have to keep trying. Hopefully it's the next one. So we know it's not this, it's not this. In this case, I'll do 5 and negative 3. The reason I really want it to be this is because I don't want to type any more fractions in. That's a good sign. The first one works. So we'll give it a go in the second one, and hopefully that'll match up and we'll be done with this method. There it is. It was supposed to equal 22, and it did. So my answer to this one is C. So that's one way to solve it. If that's the method that you're going to do, you're welcome to dump out and be done with a video. If not, let's talk about elimination. So for elimination, I want to create a situation in which I can cancel out one of my variables. You can go ahead and do it right now as a subtraction sort of elimination, but I like to see a visual representation of, like, for 4y. I want this one to be plus 4y, so they're balanced. That way I don't have to keep thinking in my head that I'm subtracting. Because if I eliminate these now, I have to think 5 minus 2x and 37 minus 22. Most of the time I'll remember, but sometimes I won't. And if the signs look a certain way, I know that they cancel. It's just my nature, I guess. So I'll multiply this by negative 1. Keep the top one the same. And then it becomes negative 2x plus 4y equals negative 22. So as you can see, those cancel. This gives you 3x. These leaves you with uh, 15 divide by 3 on both sides and x is equal to 5. So that's good. 
I can substitute this value for x into either one of them. I'll just do it in the bottom one. And then solve for the y value, 10. An issue that pops up a lot is, uh, for some people, is you see this negative and you think, well, I, this is so I need to add 10 here. It's not the case at all. The minus is actually on the 4. Numbers can't see signs behind them. So this is plus 10. If you make that mistake, just write plus 10 there. And then you won't make that mistake anymore, or not as often. Give yourself the best chance to get the answer right. So there's the x and y, and it's c. Now for substitution, <clears throat> the other type, the actual solution that's not for multiple choice tests, I need to create a situation in which I have a uh, one statement e that's equal to x equals or y equals. So I need to get one of those two variables by itself with one of my choice, uh, one of my uh, s systems equations. So I'll do 2x minus 4y equals 22. And I'll get x by itself. Why not? Add 4y to both sides. 2x is equal to 4y plus 22. Divide by 2. So what I have now is a situation where an x can equal, uh, I can substitute for an x 2y plus 11. So what I'm going to do with that information is go into the other one and where it had 5x before, I'm just going to make it 2y plus 11. So what was once an x is now the same value based on the other equation. I need to do my distributive property there. There are my like terms. 10 minus 4 is 6. So I need to subtract 55. those cancel out. So this is 18. Negative 18, sorry. And then 6y divided by 6. y is equal to negative 3. Now that I have that part of it, I'll just take the y value and plug it back into really any either one of those, you know, will work relatively okay. In fact, you could even plug it into this if you wanted to. So let's just plug it into this one. Why not? x is equal to 5. So same answer. That's substitution. The last one I'll do, and by the way, you could do matrices too, but I'm not going to do that one. Uh, the last one I'm going to do is actually set them up for a graphing. And if you stuck around this long, good on you. And I need to do uh, division here. I'm just trying to get y by itself. I need to get rid of plus 5x by subtracting because remember it's actually plus 5 and this negative has nothing to do with it. So I move that over. This stays positive. y is equal to 5 over 4x minus 37 over 4. Um, on the other side of things 2x minus 4y equals 22. I don't know why I put 11 there. It's 22. It has nothing to do with it. There we go, because it reduces later. I was thinking ahead. So I divide, I subtract 2 from both sides, but you can't combine these two. They're not like terms. I'm dividing by negative 4. So he told you it would pop up again. So I was sort of thinking ahead and uh, not doing my due diligence as far as the question is concerned. So with that said, what do I do with it? I'm going to graph them and see where they intersect. So I've already punched them in here. 5 fourths x minus 37 over 4, 1 half x minus 11 over 2, and I'll graph them. And I'm just looking for that point of intersection, which is like right in here. There's a bunch of ways you can find it. You can actually look through the table, like if you hit second graph, 
you can find I want to know where they intersect you'll notice that on the X here it's 5 and they have the same Y value so 5 negative 3 another way to do it that might be more convenient is hit second trace and go down and find the intersection so the first curve just means is it on basically one of the graphed ones and there it is there's a little spider piece that says it's the first one enter for the second one they just want to know is this the other line yes and then they want you to guess which is to say find a point close to the intersection so it can be very specific and it tells you it's five and negative three so there's four different ways to find it if you can't use one of those then I don't really know what else to do for you but uh, I'm sure you'll one of them you'll like and it'll work for you so good luck